since today's digital age, DVDs are becoming a relic of the past. If you're looking to convert your cherished DVD collection to MP4 format for easy playback on modern devices, look no further than VideoProc Converter AI. VideoProc Converter AI is a powerful and user-friendly tool that excels at converting DVDs to MP4 and other popular formats. It offers a range of features that make it the top choice for both beginners and experienced users. Its combination of speed, quality, and ease of use makes it the best DVD to MP4 converter for Mac and PC in 2025. So let me demonstrate how this app works and show you why this app is one of the best DVD converter in 2025. But first of all, you have to download and install the app. To get the app, you have to go to its official website. I have included the link to its official website in the description, you can check it out. And currently it still offers the 52% discount for Christmas offer. So more on that at the end of the video. So after you download and install the app, it's time to run the app. So here's the app, Video Pro Converter. So on a Mac computer, it says Video Pro Converter without AI and it offers only four main features. So this is what it looks like on a Windows computer version. It would say Video Pro Converter AI. The four features that you see here, Video, DVD, Downloader, Recorder down here. But they also include five more features, Super Resolution, Frame Interpolation, Image AI, Audio AI, and Stabilization. But these features will also come to Mac in the future updates. So if you're using Mac computer, don't worry it will comes to Mac soon which is like in my case I'm using Mac computer so these are features that I can access to so basically if you only use video pro converter for converting your physical DVD to mp4 or other digital formats the Mac version is more than enough so let me demonstrate how to convert a physical DVD to the most popular video format which is mp4 to do that you have to click on DVD here and at the top menu, you can see they have three main options, disk, folder, ISO. So because you want to convert directly from your DVD, you have to click on disk here and make sure that you also insert your DVD through the DVD drive so that the app will detect your DVD just like in my case. It detect my DVD called 12K Animals Film. You just click on done. And by default, it will select MP4 for you. But if you want to select other formats, you just have to click on target format here. It actually supports more than 100 different video formats. So if you click on general profiles, you can see it supports MP4 here, MOV, and so on. You can also back your DVD up if you want to. You want to back your whole DVD into a soft copy. You can also convert for specific devices or for web video profile. So in my case, I want to convert it to MP4 format. So I click on this one here and click on done. Now, if you want to make changes to the resolution and other video codec options, you scroll down here and click on this setting icons here. Now, if we take a look at the quality here, we have low quality on the left and high quality on the right. So if you drag this to the left, you get to convert it faster, but with lower quality. If you move this to the right, you get higher quality, but the conversion process will be slower. So let me just move it here. So I don't want it to be too slow, but I also want high quality video resolution. And if you take a look at video codec options, it automatically select H264 leave it like that frame rate you can keep original or make changes to it resolution as well you can select any of this resolution here like 2k or 4k or just 1080p so in my case i would select 1080p once again you can select it up to 4k if your video is in high quality mode and you want the converted video to be also in 4k so that it comes with high resolution for you to watch later in the future aspect retro you can also make changes to it but i just keep it original audio codec options also you can make changes to it if you want to but i just leave it like that and out of options as well i just leave everything the way it is if you know what you're doing you can make changes to all of these like the sample rate channel bit rate and so on but to me i would just leave it the way it is i only change the resolution here once i'm satisfied with this i will click on done next if you want to rename the video title, you can also do so by clicking on rename here. So the output name, I would just say tested animal video. 
if you want to add artwork to it you can do so as well but i just leave it like that i click on done and now you can see the name has been renamed to tested animal video if you have subtitle to this video you can also add it by clicking on no subtitle here click on load subtitle and you can add subtitle to it but in my case i don't have any subtitle so i just leave it like that if you have multiple chapters you want to include all the chapters in it you click on chapter here and you select the chapters you want in my case i only have one chapter and it automatically select all and merged so i just leave it the way it is if you want to cut out some parts of the video you can also do so by clicking on edit here so to cut the video you click on cut drag to the part where you want it to cut and the other side as well and you click on cut you can also add watermark to it crop it put some effect on it but i just only want to cut it so i click on done now one more step that we need to look at before we convert is taking a look at hardware acceleration engine so by default it will tick this feature for me it helps to convert the dvd faster and we have other features like use high quality engine the interlacing if you want to do so so i would also tick on use high quality engine next is the output folder so if you want to make changes to the location where your videos is supposed to be saved to you click on browse select location in my case it will select desktop click on open and now the video will be saved to desktop once i'm happy with everything i click on run just sit tight and wait it won't take long okay as you can see the video has been successfully converted here's the video tested animal video dot mp4 the size of this video is about three gigabytes so let's open this video to see what it looks like for copyrighted reason, I have to mute the sound but you can see how the video is played but the sound, I can guarantee that it works fine So as you can see the video works perfectly fine so you can see that video prop converter can convert your dvds very quickly and effectively if you're interested in the app once again all the links are in the description you can check them out and currently the christmas promotion offer is still on you can get up to 52 percent discount if you purchase the app now if you take a look at this, all the prices for one year subscription, lifetime and family license have 52% discounted. So grab one as soon as you can while the promotion is still on. Okay, that's it guys. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below of your thoughts and subscribe to help our channel grow. Have a wonderful day guys. See you in the next video.